beer from Yorkshire. Fuck off. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands Bikes and Furs Reviews. I've got some black sheep ale. Um, this is great stuff. I actually did a review of this about two months ago and I was a little bit pissed to be honest <laughs> and it just came out horrendous. I was slurring all over the place. I was trying to do a northern accent and I basically made myself look like a complete arse, which is not unusual for me. Um, but I thought I can't let it go out. One, because I look like a twat, and two, because this is a really good ale and it deserves a good review. Now, what is it? Well, it's, as I say, it's, it's black sheep. This beer is brewed by the um, one of the brothers of the Thigston family as in Thigston of the old peculiar fame. Uh, this is uh, one of the brothers who decided to split from that, not the, f obviously not split from the family, but split from the brewing family and, and brew his own beer. And um, that's the name Black Sheep. So they've sort of adopted that because he's supposedly the black sheep of the family. Um, it's a really good ale and it's got lots of British hops, Fuggles, Challenger, etc. And um, as I say, I've tried this before, and it's really good. It's 4.4%, so it's easily sessionable. Um, it comes in a 500 milliliter um, bottle, and uh, it's got an engraved bottle, which is really good. It's Masham in, in Yorkshire. Masham is where it's, it's brewed, and it, that's a place in Yorkshire. I think it's near Harrogate. But um, it's... It's quite widely available as well. I got this in um, uh, I got this in Morrison's, and it was quite cheap. I think it was only like one eighty or something like that. Here is the top of the cap. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll try and get a bit of light on it. I'm doing these reviews during the day because I'm I'm sort of working. In inverted commas, can you see that? It's well, it's got a basically a ram's head on it there we go that'll be a better that's a better view of it there right now I'll get this open now and we will see what is in the bowl as I say the last review of this was just a complete abortion it had me going off topic and talking about subjects like Jeff Boycott the state of cricket um Fucking Scotland for some reason. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. It was a comp complete nightmare. I've still got it somewhere. I might put it up just for laughs, but oh, it's terrible. Um, what are we getting on the nose? Mm, typically British hops straight away. Nice and spicy, earthy. Fuggles hops. Really nice and nice malt as well. Nice caramel, slight toffee malt on that as well. Let's get it in the glass, see what's going on. I've decided to use a uh, proper pint glass because I've, de I've decided not to use the London Pride glass. That would probably upset a few people from Yorkshire if I put Yorkshire beer in a London uh, Pride glass. I don't know what it is, but I keep adopting a fucking Yorkshire accent when I drink this stuff. They must put something in the water up there. Anyway, let's get it in the glass and see what is going on. As I say, I've drank this quite a few times. Near where I worked, they had this in bottles, and for a short time, if I'm not mistaken, it was on draft. But it was great, and I always made a point of drinking it. It was always my go-to pint. I'm talking a long time ago now. This is like, you know, 15 years ago. So there it is in the glass. Very nice uh, chestnut type amber colour 
fair bit of carbonation on it. I don't know whether you can see that or not. It's a nice sort of one finger, slightly off white head on the nose. Oh yeah, more of them, more of them hops. I don't know what it is, but I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like the smell of American hops in them IPAs, but there's something reassuring about British hops, especially the, you know, the East Kent Goldings and the the Challenger and the Fuggles hops. They just give off such an unmistakably British aroma to beer, and you don't get that anywhere else apart from this country, not even, you know, Belgium, Germany, none of them countries. I mean, they've got their own hops, to be fair, so, you know, it's a characteristic of British beer, and I absolutely love it. So let's stop gassing and let's start drinking. And it's beautiful. It's really good. There is a lot of hops in this. You can get straight away the bitterness, the slight spiciness on them hops, and the earthiness, you know, the three big characteristics of British hops. And they just shine through in this. But then, just as it's going down and you think, oh, this is, you know, this is bitter, you get the huge malt that just comes back and it makes it so much more moorish. Oh, it's lovely. It's really good. Now, I've tried some of their other beers as well and they do an IPA, a milkshake IPA. That was fucking disgusting. But this stuff, this is standout stuff for me. It, it really is. And as I say, I, I don't know what went on with the Theakston family and why they split, but I'm glad it happened because I think I think the, the drinking community would be a bit poorer if stuff like this wasn't around and readily available. I mean, that's the good thing about it. It's quite readily available you know you can get this in Morrison's I've seen it in um, Asda's as well the big super stores as well and uh, it's it's quite um, it's quite cheap it's 180 for a bottle or 185 I think it is um, what does it say about the uh, about the beer born in 1992 the Black Sheep Brewery was founded in Masham Yorkshire by Paul Feigston the, the Black Sheep of the Feigston Brewing family right okay uh, it's beautifully balanced and it is it is really well balanced you don't think it is when you start drinking, but once it's down, the flavours all just mingling together. So it's a be beautiful, balanced, beautifully balanced premium ale. It's packed full of Yorkshire depth. I've got an urge to call it Yorkshire depth, but I won't. Progress, oh, they use Progress hops in there as well. Challenger, Goldings and Fuggles hops combine, leading to dry and bitter finish. Yeah, it, it is a bitter, but you do get their malts at the end. You know, there's sort of biscuit and toffee, a uh, biscuit and caramel malt that come back at the end of it. And it doesn't, it's not as bitter as they're making out. There is an overall bitterness to it, but it's not harsh. It's really nice. I'm just looking at the, uh, the awards. They've got a bronze somewhere and the World Beer Awards, United Kingdom Silver. I don't know, to me this is a this is a gold medal winner. Do you know there's a few <clears throat> there's a few beers when people say um can you you know give me a few typically British beers, you know, we want a taste of of Britain, you know, the beers that come out of Britain. Um for me personally, I would be looking at um Shepherd Neem IPA. Um, I would be looking at uh, some of the Adnam stuff that they do, you know, the, the broadside and stuff like that. This, definitely. Old Peculiar, definitely. I mean, they are just typically British. London Pride as well, you know, the fuller stuff. 
1698 by um, by Shepherd Name, and the 1845 uh, by um, uh, Fuller's. They're just the standout beers for me that just encapsulate traditional British beer. I'm not talking about the craft stuff. Don't get me wrong, there are some fantastic British craft brewers. There really are. But if you're talking traditional, traditional British styles, you know, IPA is a British style, but it's been bastardised so much, in a good way, by the Yanks, that um, you're sort of veering away from what it originally was. And, you know, if you want to bring it back to that sort of, you know, traditional style, they're the ones that stand out for me. And it surprises me that a lot of the craft brewers don't try and emulate that. Maybe they think that there's too many people doing that. Um, but I'd love to see a craft brewer do a really good ruby ale, you know. Um, I don't know why they don't do it. Maybe they think there's too many people out there doing it already, but I mean, fucking hell. I think there's, there's nearly 6,000 craft brewers in America, and they're all doing IPAs. Well, not all of them, but the majority of them are doing IPAs, and, you know, they're doing IPAs over here. See, this is what happens when I drink this stuff. I just go off and I rant about something. Anyway, let's get back on topic. So... This, what would I give this and would I recommend it? Well, to be honest, this is a really good one. One that I left off the list as well is Timothy Taylor. Definitely Timothy Taylor bolt maker and Tim Timothy Taylor landlord. And this is up there with him. This stuff just reminds me of it. So it's going to get a 10 out of 10. I couldn't give it anything less because I love this style. You know, I love IPAs, I love lager, I love... German Vice beer is probably my favourite, but I really, really do like the traditional British bitters, ales, traditional British IPAs, etc. You know, it's it's our roots. People call it, you know, it was the dark ages of brewing in Britain. I don't think it was. I think there's some, you know, fantastic traditional British beers that I think they're getting a bit overlooked. And I don't, I don't mean that's right. You know, I think everyone's getting hit up now in these, you know, really super hot IPAs and hopped lagers and you know, uh, oatmeal stouts and, you know, imperial stouts, etc. I mean, you know, maybe we should come back and revisit what we're leaving behind. Anyway, would I recommend it? Of course, yes, definitely. You need to get this stuff in your life. If you haven't tried it, I strongly suggest that you try it. It's great. There's the blurb on the back if you want to read about it. I think you have to read it with a Yorkshire accent. I'm going to stop attempting to do a Yorkshire accent now because... It's probably going to piss a lot of people off, and to be honest, I sound like a twat when I do it anyway. So, 10 out of 10, 100% recommended. Um, get yourself down to the supermarket, get some, or even if you can get it online, just buy some and try it. I really like it. And if you like the, the Timothy Taylor stuff, if you like the Fuller stuff, if you like the Adnam stuff, if you like the Thigston stuff, you're going to like this. And remember, beer is working class champagne.